Kylie Jenner just launched a new fashion brand, Kai, and today we're gonna try it out. <gasps> it's my boob. <laughs> what is this? Is this a joke? The last time she dabbled in fashion, she came out with Kylie Swim. I tried it and it was a complete flop. So, will it be the same with this new brand, Kai? I got my hands on her first drop, which is a collaboration with fashion brand Namilia. I would describe their fashion as bold, gothic, a little bit edgy, unusually sexy, and a little bit masculine. Just picture Christina Aguilera in her dirty era mixed with a little bit of Lady Gaga vibes in her early days. That's Namilia. So Kai's first drop consists of faux leather or vegan leather pieces and some pretty skim-like basics. The prices range from $48 to $198. I bought four pieces from her collection and I spent a total of $412. A bit of a splurge. Let's hope it's worth all that money. The first item I got was this faux leather backless top. Oh my god, it's Velcro. You just Velcro it on. It looks like a shoulder pad. It doesn't feel like normal clothing. I just feel like this is some sort of like protective wear, you know? Very interesting design. It's a little bit edgy, a little bit sexy, a little bit like a Marvel superhero character. Sorry guys, I was holding it the wrong way. It goes like this. Now, before I try the top on, I want to give a big thanks to today's sponsor. Thank you, Isn't True, for sponsoring today's video, especially if I wasted my money on Kai and it's complete flop. Isn't True is one of the fastest growing Korean skincare brands. I'm sure you've seen some of their viral products all over social media. They're doing a huge Black Friday sale on YesStyle, so it's your chance to stock up on some goodies. I would highly recommend trying out their amazing sunscreen products, as well as their latest ultra low molecular hyaluronic acid toner and serum. The toner was rated number one on the Korean skincare community, Huahei, so you know it's legit. My skin is constantly dehydrated, which means it lacks water. So I'm always trying to find products that can fix this problem and this duo has definitely helped If you're like me, if you're always in aircon or you have heating on It can really suck the moisture out of your skin So this line is perfect to combat that Hyaluronic acid is amazing for our skin It attracts and binds to water molecules to increase the water content of the skin In these two products, the hyaluronic acid molecules are small enough to be absorbed into the skin And there's 14 layers of it Which allows it to work quickly and effectively I love how quick absorbing the toner is, it adds deep hydration, promotes cell turnover, and helps soothe the skin thanks to ingredients like Aquasil, witch hazel extract, cypress leaf, and sea water from Oolong Island. After that, I like to apply the serum. The texture is very quick absorbing. It doesn't have that slippery texture or any stickiness. I only need one layer to boost my skin's hydration. Inside, there's ingredients like glycerol glucoside for a hydration boost, beta-glucan for strengthening the skin's barrier, and made white for soothing the skin. So if you're ready to plump up your skin from within whilst enjoying an amazing Black Friday deal, you can get 35% off these two products plus more if you purchase on yesstyle.com. The promo ends on the 25th of November, so get in quick. Now back to the video. I'm just trying to figure out how to put this on. Okay, this one. Okay, hold on, let me zip it up. I just want to say that this neck area is kind of stiff, so it's kind of like pressing on my throat a little bit. So I feel like I'm just getting a little bit strangled by this top. I don't know how I feel about this. It looks interesting, like it's not bad. It just doesn't feel like normal clothes. I feel like I've just put on a Halloween costume in a way. I'm ready to raid some tombs, you know what I mean? FYI, there is no stretch in this, so I'm glad that I went with a small. It is adjustable, but I just feel like this part is already, I don't know, it's like, it's a little bit tight up here. Should I turn around like I'm an action hero? Cause that's what I feel like. I'm definitely keeping the tag on because I might return this. I don't know where I would wear this to. Like it looks like a cool outfit, but also it looks like a costume. There's a little pocket here. I wonder if it's real. <gasps> it's my boob. <laughs> if your boob gets itchy and you can't scratch it through this thick pleather, you can just stick your hand in. You can literally see mesh boob. It's very soft inside. This mesh. Will it fit a phone? It will. Oh my gosh. You can store your phone. Okay. 
Okay, Kylie, I, I am, I'm guessing you went with functional fashion for this zipper part. But it just makes my boob look very weird now. These little triangular shapes, they're just padding. It's like a makasi. That's what I feel like. It doesn't feel like clothes because it feels like a leather car seat. Besides the neck area, it's quite comfy. It's it's not bad. I want to say that Kylie looks pretty badass in it, right? I'm just looking bad. This pose is giving me constipated vibes. Who stands like this? It's giving me like bulletproof vest vibes. It looks very stiff. It is very stiff. It is, I would say, I mean, it's this material. You cannot get any softer. I think I could make this work if I just wore a long sleeve top inside so it looked like less costumey. Let's try it on with the matching pants. I can already tell I wasted my money. Check out these pants. You cannot see the end because it's so freaking long. The pants is pretty much the size of me. They're also very heavy, okay? And they have zippers, so I don't even know if I can actually get this altered. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is this? Oh, they are so loose. They're too big. What size did I get? I thought I got a small. Oh, the sizing is way off. Can we talk about the length though? Guys, wait, let me put some shoes on. Even with shoes, it's way too long. <laughs> what is this? They're zippers and you can close them up if you want like a tighter leg fit. So if you don't like them flared, zip them up. Why does it look like I broke my leg? You look protruding kneecap. Why do I look like I broke my leg? <laughs> this is definitely a Halloween costume. This is not an outfit you could wear out normally. Usually people want to accentuate the top, the butt. But guys, did you know that knees are in now? The bigger the knees, the better. I don't know which one's worse, guys. The wavy trouser leg or the push-up kneecaps. There's absolutely nothing that I like about these pants. They're just so wrong. Nothing has gone right. Maybe the pockets. Are the pockets okay? They're not even that deep. Oh, that's, that's it. Oh, they're real. They're real. How does Kylie look so good in hers? They're definitely like altered to her body, man. Like that's not a standard size she's wearing. I feel like even the top, like hers is so like taut and just... There's just no wrinkles and mine's just all wrinkles. It's just all wavy and just all crumpled. It does not look good. Seriously guys, tell me who actually looks good in these pants. I need to like search on TikTok and everywhere to see someone that actually looks good in these pants. Action figure Tina to the rescue. Fighting bad fashion, one crime at a time. That means I need to knock myself out because who wears this? Like, it looks like tissue paper on my butt. Guys, that's just the tag. It's not like I forgot to flush the toilet paper down. <laughs> Gotta keep it on because I'm gonna return this. I really have high hopes for this next one. It's the cropped oversized bomber jacket. I need a jacket and I was like, okay, this one could actually work. Like it doesn't look too crazy. It's a style that I would actually wear. It's heavy. Again, I went with a small in this. And I get it is oversized. The arms are very long already. Is this really, is this a joke? Is this a joke? For real guys, for real. Who approved these designs? What? Did Kylie catfish me again? She did it with her swimwear and now she's got me with Kai. I just want to crawl up into a ball and wait on the curb side for the garbage truck to come pick me up because this is all trash. But I feel like an action figure. Like I feel like this bomber jacket has added a lot of muscle to my arms. You look strong. I look strong, I look tough, I look sturdy and I also look stupid. Like, guys, maybe Kylie's really tall. That's why the pants are so long, the arms are so long. Definitely not for petite girls, okay? What did I buy? What did I buy? What did I waste my money on? You don't understand guys. I actually camped for this. Like I waited, I put an alarm clock on and I made sure to add to cart before it sold out. And guess what? It probably didn't even sell out because look, I hope it didn't. I feel like quality wise, this bomber jacket's actually quite nice. It's comfortable. It's got a very comfortable lining. It's just the fit is all wrong for me. It just needs to have shorter arms. The collection is definitely not short on pockets. Okay, did these pockets are decent? Yeah. There's also these elastics that you can, I think, tighten up the hood. Does that look better? No. Your hand looks extra tiny now. For the council, send in the garbage truck because this needs to be disposed of. I'm not gonna lose hope just yet because I got the dress and the dress looked pretty hot on Kylie. But you know, 
when you have a body like hers, I think everything looks good. This is what I'm praying for. I hope that this one works out so at least something from my haul is wearable. The mini dress. Oh, okay, okay, Carly. I see, I see. One thing actually worked out. Now this actually looks like something a normal person could wear. The dress fits well and I got a small. You see, I feel like the other sizing, that was a little bit off, but with the dress, it actually fits. Similar to the top, there's like these extra padding details. Boot pockets are her thing. They're actual pockets. What are you gonna put in here? Put a lipstick? It could probably fit a phone. If you do use them as pockets, it will just look a little bit odd. You know, it will just look a little bit lumpy and bumpy. But if you really don't wanna carry a bag, you can use these pockets. The zippers are different on this dress than the other items. The zip that they used on the other ones are like black and plasticky, whereas this is like a silver metal zip. So I feel like it works a lot better, whereas the other ones, it was getting stuck a lot. The butt seam line is curved. I think that's what's kind of adding shape, right? That's a nice touch. Okay, Kylie and her team did well with this dress. I feel like it's actually flattering on me, not like the other garbage. How many trash, trash puns can we put in here? The length of this dress is a mini dress and I'm a short girl, as you can already tell. So I think on someone a lot taller, this will be very, very mini. Probably looks like a long-ish top on some people. Honestly, it's a very like special occasion where I would not be sporting this every weekend, if you know what I mean. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I send this back with the lot or should I keep it? This is just my opinion. It might be unpopular, but I feel like Kai is a flop. But there is a second drop coming. Let me know, should I try that? Should I give Kai another chance? Now, if you guys wanna watch more try on hauls, click on screen here and don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.